Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be installing the Crawford and Lipt PR5 rail system on the Panthera here. And we'll show you how to do that. And this thing is awesome. It is quite beefy and thick. If you saw my little short video I did at RMAC with it, uh, debuting it with Todd Welch, we basically could not, smacking this thing, get it to move or budge at all. So I'm excited to put this onto the Panthera. And now that I finally have a chance that isn't right before a competition, the time is now to do it. So I'm gonna take you through that and then we'll show you what it looks like once it's installed. All right, I've removed everything off of my rail. So what you're gonna need to do is there's two screws under there, there's two screws connecting the block to the rail, and then there's three screws on either side. Basically just remove everything and then there's two screws there to get rid of the block and you can remove that rail and it's as simple as that. Once you've got it to here, you're pretty well done with the removing the old. Now you're gonna wanna keep those two screws around because I do believe we'll reuse those. So we're gonna go ahead and um, get the rail out and start doing the install. Okay, so the rail is gonna have this bottom piece that comes off, you see that? And it's got the four screws in it, it's kind of similar to the stock one. What I think we want to do is install the top part of the rail first. So bear with me. That's just going to go on th like that and see those two screw holes there. We're going to use the factory screws and with a ball and longer wrench, we're going to stick them through those slots and we'll be able to access those screws and screw it down and just go like this through the windows there and you'll be able to get those buttoned up. Okay, after you get the screws through that window right there, those two screwed in with the ball end, you can go ahead and get these tightened up and pretty easy and then you're done. And that is how it's gonna look freaking awesome. All right, there she is installed. Looks really nice on there. It's super solid. Does not bang around or flex into the barrel at all. And you can go ahead and start putting back all of your M-Lock accessories on there. I did opt for the uh, bridge over the top here and you'll see screw holes there and screw holes down the bottom here. And what that is, is it's the standard width for M-Lock screws. So even without the m-lock rails you can screw things directly into this rail too which is kind of cool so i will be using this for nrl 22 which i'm currently as of this video ranked number one in the nation in air gun so let's see if this piece of equipment can help me keep that up hopefully the easy little install video was helpful to you guys and thanks for tuning in we'll catch you on the next one peace